Hi, today we're going to be taking on Boston Review Lit, Baby Boy Burst, Hansbrough's Cabarius K2. So it's Cabarius K2 defense type. Attack zero. Burst two. Defense uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight defense. So, woo, super defense. And about six weight, free agility, one stamina. So it's Cabeus K2 DO4 T O T D O4. So that's the ports. Which is Cabeus K2 Limit Press. So, Limit Press. So, Force is his limit, and the driver is Press. So this is the little starter. I don't know why the two pets always have, you know, the first form of the Bay Boys and the stories always get the second form or the evolved form of the Bay. You think that they would want starters with starters and then, you know, the second evolved form was like a two pet. That would be the opposite reverse way. Which I think should have been the white way. This way is just no. But that's what they do. So of course you know we always you know our whipcord launcher instruction sheets of how to put it together, which is easy. So let's take a look at this bay right here. You have a nice bit old K for Cabeus. There's the two heads right there. There's the third head. A nice kind of metal, if it was metal colored gray, like spikes, almost like a chainsaw chain, but not a chainsaw, a circular saw. You know, a saw blade design. Then we have very nice, almost metallic, look, pearl looking chains going on the inside. Well, you can see it better from the bottom here. I mean, about the chains right there, which looks fantastically nice. For the detail that they did. Then here is the QR code. So you can go ahead and pause and scan the QR code. So yeah, like I said, that I forgot to mention. It's made by Hasbro, Sunlights, and WBBA. And then you know, download the app from App Store and Google Play Store. Here is its defense wing, not defense wing, force disc. And there you can see the letter L for limit. So it's the limit and this one only has one star. So it's a one star. And here is the driver. Plus. 
like you know when you're pressing getting your suit press or pressing a tie or your press for time uh the design looks really weird I can't really make out what the design is to me it kind of looks like a, maybe a basketball just the way how the lines are going on there kind of hard to show you on camera there we go see what I mean somewhat of a basketball right there because you think that they will use the standard let's use the shield symbol to just represent that you know it's a defensive type but it's not here is this new bottom kind of cutaway wing with these big old spikes on there and the bottom pretty much looks the same as always so let me get the other defensive bay So here's Uniquest. As you can see what I mean by that wing and this one's got little spikes around it. And the bottom of the driver. Especially the bottoms of the drivers for defense tires always looks about the same. And then you know you got Cabeus, the original one here. So this one kinda has the same wing that Uniquest has. But your of course is completely smooth around the wing. Well not completely smooth. It's got little spikes. These ones got a little bit thicker spikes. As you can see right there. These spikes. And this one's got actual bit pointy spikes. So there's that going on for it. And the way how you can tell which one came first, like uh if you get confused you're like well, which Cabeus is, you know, the first one, and then which is the second version? The screws. Just look for the screws. First version always has the screws underneath on the bottom of the layer. Second version always has the little screws, as you see right there, on the top of the layer. So, if the screws are on the bottom of the layer, first form. If they're on the top, second, evolution, evolved form. So that's how you can tell which one came first. So let's kind of move the stuff out of the way. Bring in our bit of a his laptop here. So like I said, this is Cabarrus K2 Limit Plus. So this is showing you the picture of the uh, Takari Tommy one, which is about the same as the Hattest bow. So the Anji layer, which is the top, Kabeus K2. The four is this, which is, you know, this. is limit, and the performance tip is press. Cabeus K2 Limit Press. Well, the other one was, you know, the first one was Cabeus Central or Center Defense. So KCD, but this one is K2 LP. So yeah. Let me just. And I'll put the WBBA, you know, wiki forum link down below in the description there. So you can go check it up and actually read, you know, like all this and this about the layer, why is the layer different and stuff. What are the possible names that the America could have chosen instead of what they did chose, like I said. Band of Day, you know, the Plastic John of Beyblades. We had a Cerberus. It was DJ Blair's Cerberus, you know. The Bay Boy not the way it's like, all right, players, are you ready? Get ready! Like, Mass vs. Sway, or Kai vs. Ty, or, you know, something like that, where it's like, okay, you made it to the final championship. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let it whip, you know. The announcer's like, ooh, a stadium out finish. A stadium out, or, you know, 
you know, and just stop spinning herself or a sweeper. DJ Boyer, the boy, boy announcer guy. He has Cerberus, which you didn't see until very late towards the end of Plastigen's career in the show, and then they made it into the Beyblade. I believe they also made a uh, Cyber Cerberus. Then we had Cerberus that came out again. Which, give me a second here to get it. Bam! Cerberus. As you can see here. I don't know if you can see too much on the face boat, but kind of the same idea going on here. You had three boys here, you got a lot more boys, and of course you had the chain on the inside, which kind of represents the chain here on the outside, right there, well, kind of on the outside of the layers a little bit, or maybe the inside, I don't know, depends on how you're looking at it. It's here, it'll be on the inside, but if you're looking at it here, it's on the outside. You know what I mean, what it's going to make contact with. If it's going to make contact with the white part, it's on. The inside, if it's going to make contact with just the green part of the chain, it's on the outside. You get what I'm saying. So yeah. So we had about three, maybe four Cerberus. Which is kind of funny. Which one was called Cerberus, then this one was uh, Hades. And they called it something else. Halbay, Hades. And then we know that, you know, it was Cerberus. And the face will actually look pretty nice. With the free headed dogs, looks really fierce in person. And this one, eh, it's not too bad for Cerberus. So, yeah, Cerberus during the Metal Fight, Metal Fury, Metal Fusion Saga series. And then we have the uh, other Cerberus here during the Beyboy Burst series. Three, two, one, let it whip. And that was a fair launch. Let's try that again. Yeah. Okay, third time, hopefully it's the time. Three, two, one, let it whip. I guess it looks like one of the three heads, maybe the head that's looking in the opposite direction, finally had some good luck and said, Hey, let's actually spin the bay. The other two heads were like, No, let's not spin. And the second head was probably like, No, let's just make the bay drop and not spin. When you're trying to lay a whip. And the phone was like, Come on, let's get the bay to spin for the people that's watching the video. So maybe that's why it has three heads. Now, I'm jolting. You know I'm jolting. You know, the saying, Two heads are better than one. Three heads may not be as good as two heads. Uh, once I was steam pretty fast right there, as you can tell. It's like already dead. Made a quick little bail between the two cabayas. Again, this new one, or the second Evolve Evolution one, does not want to spin out of the launcher. I don't know what the heads up with that. I mean, the first one, it goes in and it spins. The side one, it just, it goes in okay, but when you pull the whipcord to launch it, it doesn't launch too good. So if you definitely think about taking in Cabeus K2 to a tournament, uh, nope. It already lost against its first version of itself. It doesn't really want to launch. Let's try against Uniquest. Okay, Uniquest is being stubborn today. Come on. And yet again, the stupid bay does not want to work.
And then when you launch it, it seems like it has very little to like, almost no power to it. Like the spin time is like, eh, one more station, two seconds. And all the other bays, look. Uniquest. And the first one was like, let's spin. This one's like, I don't want to spin. Just keep me on your shelf. Or put me in a box. So, yeah. So, this one's really a loser. I say there's no reason to get it except for just question purposes. Because you see, the other two defensive ones, they win. This one loses every single time, no matter what happens. So, yeah. There has been the unboxing review of Haswell's Bayboy Burst Cabayas K2 D04 TD04 starter set. So, like I said, it has been the unboxing review of Haswell's Bayboy Burst Cabayas K2 Limit Press. DO4 TD04 Defense Type Starter. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.